The Towering Infernos. Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is one of your requests. Paul Dillette versus Giant, Jamie the Giant, Joe Hall, Jamie Christian. You know who he is, darn it. These two dudes, between the two of them, they're pretty tall. Now, well, bring them to the NBA or the WWF, WWE, I guess, and they're kind of just average height, but here in the IFBB... Bodybuilders, they're not that tall. Paul Dillette, he had to lie about his height. He had to lie about his height. I think he said he was 6'1". That's what he's listed as, 6'1". But he's like, obviously, a half a foot taller than guys that are 6 feet tall. So yeah, he is a giant. Jamie Christian, he's like 6'6". Six six. So he's going to actually be taller than Paul Dillette. How much? I don't know. I guess that'll be of some debate. I got him a, an inch or two taller than Paul. But physique-wise, Paul has it. Paul has it. Look at the midsection. Unbelievable size in those wheels, in the arms. I mean, he is defeating Jamie the Giant in the front double by. I would suggest hands down. Hands down. Good idea from you guys. Part of your You Pick Tuesday, actually. Here is the front lat spread. Got the original one almost up to 500 likes. But the thing of it is, you guys came back and voted for this one so there's actually more people voted for this one than the original winning video paul this is a photo shoot this is a best attempt at paul to hit a, a symmetrical front lat spread he probably stood there for a while snapping the pose and they probably had somebody saying like okay hold right there very unsymmetrical now uh, jamie jamie the giant jamie christian he's he, he's pretty good in this pose i would suggest Probably getting Paul. Now you turn to the side. Huh. Jamie's pretty good. Jamie's not bad at all. Actually probably giving uh, uh, Paul a run for his money in the big man's chest department. Paul, he is, he's ripped in his chest. Paul looks bigger from the front. From the front double, when, you, when he turned to the side, I don't want to call him anything but narrow. He was anything but narrow. But there were certain guys like NASA or things of that nature would be bigger from the side. Hmm. Side tricep. Side tricep. And these pitchers are from 96, guys. You can't take these ones too, too serious. But Paul does display some cuts in those quads and some upper body conditioning that I don't think Jamie can match. He's opened up a little bit too much here in 96. The thing about Paul, look at him. 94, he'd go too flat. Pancake time. Mikey. Pa pancake time. Yes, 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 Mikey. Um, Look at the tricep. He's anything but pancake in that aspect, is Paul. So he had the goods. He just didn't deliver in the uh, display. 96 was probably better. When it comes to the back department, you got to kind of get these poses out of the way when it comes to Paul Dillette. Very unsymmetrical, much like that front lat spread, and it is a gosh darn crying shame. He had the muscle, he had the meat, you can see that, look at the traps, unbelievable, just mountaintops, they're unsymmetrical mountaintops, but they're mountaintops nonetheless, but, I mean, Jamie's, Jamie's gonna get him, guys, he's gonna get him, is he gonna get him in the rear double? Probably... Equal condition. Paul is revolutionary, or he was revolutionary for his condition at that time, back in 1994. Not too many had straw to gloats. Maybe Dorian, maybe Sean Ray. Other than that, really, you didn't see it. You didn't see it. There is a definite dry look. Now, this is a pretty good match. Paul's back double was a little underrated, I have to say. If the back itself was a little bit bigger to match the, the lower half and the arms, I don't know. I'd probably give it to Jamie. Here's the abs and thigh. And it was, like I said, hard to size these two dudes. Paul stands straighter in certain shots like this one. Jamie goes, you know, he bends at the knees. So yeah, they're gonna they're they're probably close to being the same height. I would say Paul probably six four. If not 6'4 plus. And Jamie's probably 6'5. I don't know if he's 6'6. Six, six. You 6'6, six, six, Jamie? You're letting us know in the comment section below. That would be just peachy keen. But anyway, yeah. Go to the uh, most muscular here. I apologize. I apologize. 
And these two guys, I mean, talk about powerhouses. Wow, wow. Imagine the strength of Paul DeLette. Imagine how strong he would be. Actually, <laughs> you know where I'm going at with this. Paul maybe looked stronger than he was. Actually, if, if you're talking about Paul's, you look at a guy like Paul Anderson, just look like a short, fat guy compared to, to Paul DeLette. But he could lift probably ten times the amount. Imagine him coming into the gym, a little guy like that, saying, get out of the way, Paul, and outlifting him. But anyway, anyway enough about Paul Anderson. We all know who he is. Paul DeLette, probably getting an edge over Jamie. Nowadays... Well, I don't know. I don't know. Thin skin, things of that nature. We can obviously see some uh, feathering in Jamie's quads. He is very conditioned. And I'm a huge fan of this guy. He's a nice guy. I watch his content all the time. Hit thumbs up on his videos, things of that nature. But the guy had tiny calves. It's disrespectful for me to say so. Mm, yeah. But anyway... I'm sure Jamie was watching this himself, or if he was, he was probably noticing the calves and all the shots and thinking, well, at least Mark's max muscle's not, you know, giving it to me as far as my calves are concerned. But waited to the end there, give you a little dig when I can't even see the calves. So, you know, <laughs> a little unfair, yeah? Anyway, hit thumbs up on the video. You pick beep, 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 Wednesday. You'll see the rest of them too, guys. Have a great one.